This is a Rigeron carvinskianus. Uh, Santa Barbara daisy is what some people call it, the common name. And as you can see, you probably recognize these. These are very profuse little small daisy-like flowers. You see that some of these are kind of pinkish. That's uh, how they come out when they're young. So uh, as a design, this is a, a evergreen, semi-evergreen uh, perennial, at least in our area. We get uh, in the 90s in the summer and the mid-20s in the winter. And these don't usually die back. Actually, what happens with these is, uh, so as a design element, uh, typically kind of 16 to 18 inches on center is a good idea. They'll definitely spread further, but why I would recommend that type of spacing is because these look a lot better when you give them a good shearing every year. Uh, what happens is, is they get kind of a mounded, woodyish undergrowth of the old stems. And um, if you want a fresher, greener looking plant that's more like what you're seeing here, you need to shear these back. Um, I'd say do it in the spring or um, after, right after their bloom so that they can grow back out of it right away. I wouldn't do that in the winter and expose the uh, inside to the frost. Um, a lot of people use these in groupings. I, I think they're good in a small grouping. And again, I'd space them probably 16, 18 inches on center if I were planting them that way. Um, they definitely need deadheading in my opinion, and they are some maintenance because of that. But I'd say you really only need to do that once or twice a year, so they're not a lot of work. Um, they're also quite low water once they're established. I saw some of these in a dry median island yesterday, and they looked okay. They hadn't been maintained, so to me the maintenance is a critical part of going in and deadheading them at the right time. Otherwise, these can look pretty ratty. Um, and I guess as a designer, especially commercial, if you're not gonna, can't count on the deadheading at the right time or the shearing back to encourage the green growth, uh, you need to consider that because these don't look very good if they're not uh, handled properly. And um, uh, also the deer usually leave these alone, so these are good in deer areas most of the time. Pretty reliable that way. And again, as I said, fairly low water. You can certainly uh, irrigate these with drip irrigation and they'll be just fine with that. And that is Erigeron carvinskianus.